Have you ever wondered just how big the food industry is? The USDA Economic Research Service estimates that every month there are over $60 billion of food sales consumed at home and another $60 billion of food sales of foods consumed away from home. That's big. Also, the Food Marketing Institute estimates that there are over 40,000 food items at the average supermarket. That's a lot of food. Have you also thought about how much trust the public places into the supply chain that manufactures and serves food products? The U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics estimates that there are almost 9 million workers in restaurants and other eating places and another 1.5 million workers in food manufacturing operations. It is no wonder that we hear of foodborne illnesses in the news from time to time. In fact, the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention estimates that each year, roughly one in six Americans get sick, 128,000 are hospitalized, and 3,000 die of foodborne disease. In addition, there are approximately 500 food recalls each year. The good news is that there is a systematic approach to developing food safety plans that prevent foodborne illnesses and recall events. The outcome of implementing these food safety plans is a food safety management system. So what exactly goes into a food safety management plan? For starters, it is necessary to roll out prerequisite programs such as good manufacturing practices that maintain a sanitary food processing environment. For example, it is necessary to keep pests out of the facility and make sure the employees are washing their hands and wearing the appropriate garments. Then we can begin drafting a food safety plan which begins with five preliminary tasks in which we form a team, describe the food characteristics such as its intended use and consumers, and then draft a flow diagram. This prepares us to apply a series of seven principles in which we first conduct a hazard analysis and then determine how are we going to control these hazards and then how are we going to control the control procedures. This was a simple description of the systematic approach to developing a risk-based food safety plan. Now I invite you to learn more so you can join me in assisting the food industry in protecting the food that we consumers eat every day.